This video is going to show you two different ways you can add a hyperlink or URL into your D2L course. This means you can direct your students to another website directly from their online class. The first way I'm going to show you how to add a URL is via the text editor box in D2L. The text editor box, or HTML editor, is pretty ubiquitous in D2L, which means you can apply the same concept when you're creating a news item, creating new content, working in the discussion board, or even providing feedback on a Dropbox assignment. For this example, I'm just going to create a new news item and show you how to add a URL within the HTML editor. So this box right here is the D2L HTML editor window, and the button that we want to press to add the URL is this third one from the left. And if I hover my mouse over it, it says insert quick link. And that's what we're looking for. We want to add a link. So I'm going to click on this button. And then I'm going to click down here on the URL option, which is the last thing in the list. And here in the URL box, I simply paste or type the link that I want to direct my students to. And then for title, I type what I want the students to actually click. So if you want to just repaste the link so that the whole link shows there, you can. Or you can type a shortened link name. And then you take a look at this target area. And this is pretty important because you need to determine where you want the link to actually open. By default, I would automatically recommend clicking on the new window option. What that's going to do is it's going to open the link in an entirely different browser window, which means that when your students close that window, they will still be in D2L. But notice that you also do have the option to open the link in the same frame or in the whole window if you want. Again, my recommendation would be this new window option. And then click Insert. And you can see here it's created shortened link name, which is what I typed in. And when my students click on that, they're going to go to the link that I paste in. So I'm just going to type sample link. Here is a news item and click publish so you can see what this looks like. Here on the course homepage, shortened link name. When I click on that, it opens up a new window that my students can access the link that I've shared. And then when they close it, they can go directly back to D2L. Now the second way that I'm going to show you how to add a link into your course is within the content area. And so this is if you had a link that was a particular assignment perhaps that you wanted to share with your students. I'm going to go directly to content, pick the module where you want to add the link. Again, that doesn't really matter. Um, within whatever module you choose, then you're going to select from the new menu, create a link. And you're going to see a little icon that looks very similar to that quick links one that we pressed in the HTML editor. Um, same thing you're going to do here, only the boxes are reversed. Here's the title of the link. The URL box is where you type or paste the actual link and then hit create. This link has actually now been created and when students click on it, it will take them directly to the other link that we selected. So those are two different ways that you can include a URL into your D2L course to direct students to a specific link.